We generate a lot of data during our day-to-day -day activities. Those personal data are valuable to organizations who sell and otherwise monetize them, often without our knowledge or understanding. Current data ownership and compensation models can take the form of surveillance and infringe on our privacy. We need to address the ethical use of personal data. Hi, I'm Stefan Falk. My ethical geo idea relates to the individual ownership and compensation of personal air quality data. Tackling ethics in air quality data can help us quickly advance our ethical practices in other areas. The primary reason is that personal air quality data is still in the early stages, so it hasn't yet been hampered by established organizations and practices as is the case for social media generated data. And it is simpler to work with since it's not as personally identifiable as, say, health data, because air quality data is capturing a person's exposure to their environment, not direct metrics about an individual. Dozens of startups have entered the personal air quality market. Some develop sensors like these that are small and relatively low cost. Other startups are creating data products from these measurements. Personal air quality data will fill in measurement gaps and locations and at times that are not presently measured by already established national air monitoring networks and satellite-derived data sets. Among the gaps in understanding air pollution exposure is the inadequate data availability in low-income areas. These areas are often close to manufacturing or busy highways and have high pollution exposure. Personal air quality sensors could help gain insight in these areas and address another geoethical aspect in the field of environmental justice. While these sensors are relatively low cost, they are not necessarily affordable to all. Public libraries offer an alternative where you can check out a sensor. In addition to providing sensors, libraries have plans to serve as a data management and data science hub for the local communities. They may offer training associated with personal air quality sensors, data quality, and data management to help get folks up to speed. We have an opportunity to keep the individual in the data value chain longer, beyond just upfront data collection. New technologies are showing promise to do just that. From the use of micropayments to compensate individuals for their personally generated data, to blockchain-based research and startup efforts to capture the provenance and pedigree of personal data, allowing someone to keep track of where their data go and how they are used. You remember our frustrated smart homeowner? Well, she may help explain this idea. Instead of feeling spied on, she is able to see where her data go and how they are used. She retains ownership and is compensated based on the value her data generates. And by retaining that control and linking it to how data are used, she has the flexibility to provide open data access as well. In closing, I would like to use the Ethical Geo Fellowship to promote, advance, and check the feasibility of these ideas, coordinate among organizations, and identify other sources of support. Thank you to the American Geographical Society for coordinating the Ethical Geo Fellowship, to Omidari Network for its sponsorship, and to you for watching this video.